the VO meter, measuring your voiceover progress. The VO meter is brought to you by voiceactorwebsites.com, vocal booth to go, podcastdemos.com, Global Voice Acting Academy, JMC Demos, and IPDTL. And now, your hosts, Paul Stefano and Sean Daly. That actually um, leads really well into our next question, because during my research for the interview, I noticed on your website, you're really a, what I like to call a Jill of all trades when it comes <laughs> to genres and mediums. Yeah. Um, so do you specialize in any particular genre or do you just do a little bit of everything like as it comes your way, like you said? Well, it's really, really interesting. Yes, I can do a lot of things and I can do a lot of formats. And I mean, from radio imaging, which I'm not doing now, but I did do. I mean, you know, and uh, news and, and well, news isn't really voiceover, but it's a part of it. But um, here's what here's what uh, happened, really. You know, the industry has changed. I mean, 40 some years ago, there were no voiceover coaches. There was no Internet. You couldn't learn like we have these capacities now to learn with the best in the industry. So I was, I had to learn on my own how to do everything. And so out of that, I've been able to apply that skill to all of these different genres. I have, I, I don't do audio books right now, but maybe one day I will. I don't do them right now because they're pretty time intensive. And I do right now mostly kind of the basics, commercial, promo, narration. But now I'm getting into movie trailer. There's, you know, and the thing is, is like in narration now, it's not just narration. It goes into all these different subsets. There's documentary narration. There is film narration. You know, there's, and then there's great demand. And another thing is like, you know, video games and uh, animation, which I'm starting to do. So I think I am going to probably be a Jane of all trades, but the difference is now I can work with some of the best voiceover coaches in the world and do my very best to excel at what I do, still do those genres, but take them to my highest level because you have to be at that level to compete in today's market. There are so many fantastically, wonderfully talented people and the competition is fierce. So I do specialize, but in a general way. You make a great fun. point. I actually spent the last weekend at the first ever vocation conference. It's a conference put on by Jamie Muffet and Karen Guilfrey in New York City to focus entirely <laughs> on the business of voiceover. And somebody was having a chat with me talking about coaching. And they said, I told them some of the people I worked with, and they said, well, aren't they expensive? And I said, yeah, but that's the point. They're, they're, they're the best at what they do. And and they should be valued for their time. So if you want to work with the right. best, you kind of need to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, well, I was just going to say, once you reach a level or like a certain level of aptitude, you have to kind of increase your price bracket for training because you're not going to benefit from that lower to intermediate level anymore. So, yeah, well, like, and I just love that. <clears throat> I mean, I kind of suspected this when we worked together in Seattle, but I was just like, training in education seems very important to you. And oh, um, yeah. Oh, absolutely. And um, I, I'm so, ha I mean, can you imagine? I mean, really, I was, I remember being in front of the camera doing a newscast. Just, it was just in a five minute hole of the NB, uh, of the Today Show. They thought there'd be local news. But I mean, I had no training on how to breathe. And the teleprompters back there were like dinosaurs and they were going. Arr, <laughs> arr, arr. And, and then, and then the directors, these guys in my headphones, we're making all kinds of jokes to get me off track. Oh, that's what we do. <laughs> that, that's how we keep our. That's how we keep our sanity. Keep it light. Yeah, and so it was learning by fire. So when I said, "Oh my God, there's somebody who really cares that I learned this," and I was so happy, and that's why I yeah. And to people who may be listening, always, always, always invest in yourself. It, it's a return that will come back a millionfold. 
Thanks for listening to the VO Meter, measuring your voiceover progress. To follow along, please visit www.vometer.com. VO Meter is powered by IPDTL. 